Proverbs chapter 28, verse number 15. As a roaring lion, oh, let's, let's move up a little bit. Verse 12. When the righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory. But when the wicked are, when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. Now notice the wicked. Because in verse 12, when righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory. But when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. Now that verse 12 doesn't bring you to prophecy of a future event. You don't know much of your Bible. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. We talked about that. First John 1 9. But whosoever confesseth and forsaketh them, the sin, shall have mercy. See, you're not just to confess your sins, okay, Lord, I've done this sin. You're to forsake them. You're not to go running into it voluntarily. And then, I just said this prayer and I'm, no. Okay. As a roaring lion. You roar for a reason. Study roaring lions. Study lions. A raging bear. You know those two animals there in the Bible are like in the Satan and the Antichrist? We just read about the wicked in 12, the tribulation period. But see, happy is the man that feareth always. For he that hardens his heart shall fall into mischief. That was who? In the Bible. That was the Pharaoh that not know, did not know Joseph. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15 are tribulation passages. And you see the Pharaoh of Exodus. So I guess... The plagues upon Egypt are going to happen again because who shows up? Moses. What's what's he doing? Changing the waters into blood. You know why you study the Old Testament? Because it ain't done. You know the Jews today, 2014, they haven't learned from history. So it's going to repeat themselves. Caesar, out of Hitler, and nations that have been against them and have turned their back against them, it's only a preview of what the Antichrist is going to do far worse. The only happiness you're going to get in the tribulation period is when you're going to fear God. You know what's going to happen? Your mind. Let me put it this way. Jesus said in his own words. The times are going to be changed. Unless for the elect's sake. He's going to come up with this Star Wars power and force. That even those who are on God's side are going to be like. Uh. Antichrist doesn't mean he's against Christ. He is. You couldn't tell him apart. Do you know that Tammuz is a complete representation of the supposedly the birth of Jesus Christ? 
by their stories, I mean. He's the son of God. Alexander the Great, uh, his own thing was he was the son of God and conquered the entire known world and is found in the Bible except for his name. You thought Proverbs was just this book of yes and no and no and yes and but and 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 remember what it said back here? It said in uh, chapter number chapter twenty five verse one. These are the Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied out. This is Solomon writing. Solomon was a king, and he was a prophet. According to Proverbs. Daniel 7 1, Revelation 13 2, and Amos 5 18, as a roaring lion. 1 Peter 5 8 calls him Satan. Isn't Jesus the lion of the tribe of Judah? A raging bear. Wasn't there two sheep bears that tore a couple children up in pieces? So, matter of fact, they say a bear leaves a mark on a tree with his paws. You know, Satan left a mark upon a tree. To our victory through Jesus Christ. So is the wicked ruler. Uh-oh, there he is over the poor people. Now who are the poor people in the tribulation period? Those who don't receive the mark. See, you've got to understand there will be, and I can prophesy this, there will be no middle class in the future sometime. When? I don't know. But it's dying out. The Bible says it's only going to be rich and poor. Remember, we are 28 and a half chapters into Proverbs. How many times have we studied rich and poor? Guess what Proverbs becomes? Proverbs becomes a textbook of the tribulation period. Have you read what James writes to the 12 scattered tribes? How firm he writes to the rich people? The poor of the tribulation period are those who will not receive the mark. Those that are rich will receive the mark. And what will they buy? Have you read the, the, the menu over there? I forget which chapter there is. Cinnamon, food, slaves, souls, wood. You know, your, your, your big stores and your big hardware stores. You know, all these stores are, are, are combining into one store and getting rid of the mom and pop stores. Our Bible prophecies. Now, Walmart and, and Home Depot and Lowe's and all that may not be the Antichrist, but them buying up all the companies and now you can buy it all in their one store is a preview. You know what's going to happen? I, I, I'm going to assume this because... 50-50. If you start seeing it, then you know we're even going more, but it, I, I can't press it this much. But when you can go to one store and have Walmart and, and Staples and uh, Home Depot in one store. And my mom told me, I don't know if it's Oregon or it was California. They have stores like that where you can go shopping for groceries and you can buy stuff to build a shed outside. They just haven't made their way to the East Coast yet. And you know what? I'm, I'm speculating and I don't know if we're going to get how much. I'm going to just let the Lord speak through me. You won't need a cash register.
And it says, at least if you see the mark, you can't buy or sell. Well, there's only going to be one commodity you're going to have. You're going to, it's going to be reverse of what, what they have today. See, if you walk in the store today, all right, no problem. If you walk out, you've got something that belongs to them. The detectors are going to go off. Even if it, you know, it didn't properly uh, seal itself, even when you bought it. You know, have to look at the receipt and check that you bought it. In the future, the store is going to be, if you come in without a mark, the detectors are going to go off. And you get whatever you want when the detectors don't go off. You got the mark, you go in there and get whatever you want. Where do you see that? You see that with America in her, in her welfare state. Just have this plastic card and go and get whatever you want. As long as you got the card and the number and the ID. You don't have to work. We'll let the poor people won't receive the mark. We'll let them do all the work with rigor. And most of them will be Jews. Because Jews can't worship images. Shadrach, Meshach, in the, in, 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 messed up his name. Lord, forgive me for that. Don't you see the Bible coming alive again? You know, they're talking about there's some things where... In order to get in your car, if you drink, you got to breathe into it. And at a certain point, that sounds good and, and good and great. Okay, I'm all for that. But don't you see, you know, pretty soon getting your car, and, you know, if you slide your hand under it, your car won't start. Do you know that you your GPS tells you exactly where you are, how fast you are going, and tell me if it's not being reported to anybody else where you are. You can push a button on certain uh, GM cars. I forget what it's called. Life star. L star? Life? And if your car is stolen, well, not only show it, show it up, they'll tell you where your car is. And there's a button there. Even if you break down, if you got any kind of emergency, you press the button, they know where you are. So you got to be a fool not to believe the Bible. Do you think President Obama is bad? Aren't you glad if you're saved, the Lord's going to call you I mean, a roaring lion, a raging bear, and a wicked ruler? Do you want that guy in the White House? Do you want, the, you want something to... Listen, I don't care about your screaming infant. Receive the mark to get info formula. I don't care, you children. Uh, receive the mark. You may walk in a hospital and have your son in your arms and have have your husband holding his arm that got cut off. And unless you show that nurse that 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 check-in nurse the mark, you ain't gonna get treated. Matter of fact, you'll, make, you'll get to a point you'll get hauled off into a prison camp. See, remember when God goes with the church and the Holy Spirit, I believe, goes with it, with us. I preach this on the streets and I, I, I preach it all the time. Satan shows no mercy and shows no grace. Now, I will be charged, but if my check shows up late to paying the bill, I have a grace period. You're not going to have that under the Antichrist. He's a bear and a lion. You think a lion who's looking at a pack of antelope? Oh, my. Leo, you see that poor little antelope over there? You see him? Look at him. Look. Oh man, he is so much in pain, and he'll take a bumper sticker and slap it on Leo's butt. You know, save the antelopes. No, they'll find that weak one and they'll go tearing into the weak one. Study lions. 
You think those bears cared about those kids being young? In the Bible? Oh, can't do anything with them. They're a bunch of children. Let's go get their pick. No. You know? The prince? That's a government figure. The prince. I got Satan, Ephesians 2 2, and the Antichrist, Daniel 9 26. That one is understanding is a great, is also a great oppressor. Now here's the contra. But he, the opposite of the, pr the prince, that hateth covetousness shall prolong his days. So the prince is in a bad light by the contra of that verse. He lacks, the prince lacks understanding. Now what have I told you about knowledge, wisdom, and understanding? Knowledge is what you know. Wisdom is how to apply what you know. What is the Bible definition of understanding? Is the reference of what you can do to God or for God of what you know and how to apply what you know. So according to those definitions, the prince has no idea of God. God's gone. Hey, it wasn't for the Jews. You, you imagine it wasn't for, for the sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob if God just totally disappeared for those seven years? No 144,000? Gee, what would the Jehovah Witnesses base their religion on? See, we don't understand on how terrible. You know, there's two things when we we should witness to family and friends and everybody. Is if the rapture were to happen right now, you're talking about everybody you know who's lost is going to go through seven years of Satan, no mercy and no grace. And if they receive that mark as Gentiles, they are damned. They are condemned. And I don't care if you come up with your own computer calculator, whatever you do. You're going to die and go to hell. Now the Jews will be something different. One of the places that mark goes on your forehead. And, and one of the things that they're going to do in the, in the tribulation period. Maybe the only way you can recant the God is have that mark removed off your forehead. The only way you can do that is have your head removed. But I'm not talking about Gentiles. I'm talking about a time of Jacob's trouble. The only way Gentiles will get saved according to Jesus Christ is their conduct as a nation to the Jews. And that only gives them the right to go into millennium and then their conduct to the Lord Jesus Christ as king. And there are people in the millennium who will be tossed into the lake of fire right there with the Lord Jesus Christ as the king. Covetousness. If you covet in the in the in the tribulation, you're damned. Oh, I just want I just have to get that fish croissant, croissant sandwich with Swiss cheese. Gotta go around there. Come on, let's go. Yes, I want that fish sandwich with, with Swiss and croissant. Okay, how do you want that? I want to do like this. You want to drink with that? Yeah, I'll have a Coca-Cola. Diet Coke. I'm on a diet. Anything else? Yeah, give me a couple of those, those donuts for, for breakfast tomorrow. Anything else? No, that's it. How much oil are you? You don't owe me anything. All right. Let me see your ID. Well, I don't have an ID. Well, if you don't have the ID, you can't get it. How do I get one? Oh, we just have a machine right here. You want it? Yeah. Give me your right hand or your forehead. 
How about it? How about it? You don't think I'm right? I took my car to an auto place to be fixed. And right there at the desk, I was given credit and a credit card to have the car fixed. Right there in the sales room. We went to a store today, I'm not going to mention no name, and they're in there selling health care. In the store that we were in. There's a bank in that store. Did you know there's a bank in that store? You know there's a restaurant in that store with, with a grocery? And where I can get hardware? I can go out and get garden stuff? I can get a bail tree? And that's not good enough? I can go out in the garden center and I can get me a nice altar to, 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 to give up my pig sacrifices. Shopping, hardware, bank, health care. I can get my glasses done. And I can get me a bite to eat. All I got to do is go through the door. And to make sure that I'm right, aren't there guards at the door at, the, at that store? Listen, I'm 40-something years old. And growing up, I had never seen cops or security guards at a store. They were up hidden in a little glass room watching for people. Who would, I mean, they were there. But they didn't ask to see you when you're walking out of the store, when you're innocent and haven't done anything wrong. They only used to bother people who they caught shoplifting. Now they bother everybody. And the ones that walk out with two TV sets under their arms, they're the ones that get out in the parking lot free. So if you're not covetous, you can prolong your days in the tribulation, which... There'll be a time in the tribulation you're going to want to die and you're not going to be able to. People want to live today. In the tribulation period, there's a time that death is not going to be granted. Imagine being in pain and, and sorrow and hunger and thirst and having absolutely no relief and you not going to die of pain, you're not going to die of being famished, and you're not going to die of thirstation, and not going to die of starvation. That's going to be a very good incentive program to go ahead and just receive that mark. Guess who's going to fail? Americans. Because we got peace on earth and goodwill to all men. Give me that play box! I want that TV! And you gotta have a police force in 2014 because two women are fighting over a Barbie doll. A judge declares a police officer innocent and, and for. Towns, four cities are in an uproar with businesses burning. And you think Gentiles are going to get saved in the tribulation period where you receive a mark or not get your little phone? Come on! You don't know people. You have not witnessed the people. You have not stood there in the eyes of God and trying to witness and do God's work and see how people react. Set up three tables. I'll use this from what your experience that we read and hear about in, in, in the media, uh, something that has happened to us personally, and then what we do. Set up three tables. One table, us. Gospel track. Free salvation. Number two. 
a table with cheeseburgers free and a table with all kinds of electronics eight dollars off and we're going to open our doors at three o'clock in the morning who do you think is going to be at what tables and what table is going to be empty and you'll get all kinds of workers at the electronic table because we went remember Black Fire on Thanksgiving night I forget which one we went and it was all kinds of employees wearing their smocks all over the place and you'll get the people showing up to, to, get, to give you the, the free hamburgers because they were out there too Oh, but when you, how many people are going to go out and, and pass out gospel tracts and you don't see hardly a hand go up? I know exactly what I'm talking about, too. A man. That doeth violence to the blood of any person. Do you think that's a reference to the Antichrist? Is he a man? Is he not going to be in part of cutting people's necks off? Shall flee to the what? And I saw the beast and, and the prophet cast into the what? Let no man stay him. Now, I'm going to tell you what that means in 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 foreign to the but the, is it possible that that when God comes and He chains up Satan and and cast the, the false prophet and the antichrist into you think is it possible that people are going to stand up for Satan and say don't do that how horrible you are God blocking up our God you meanie I don't want I'd rather go to hell than go into your millennium with your Jesus Now, the verse. A man that doeth violence to the blood of any man shall flee to the pit. Let no man stay him. Now, as we come home from church in Volusia County, we see a billboard that says, Thou shalt not kill God. Now, that doesn't mean that you go out and you don't kill anybody. That means, you know, you don't kill somebody in prison that's killed anybody. That's cruel and unusual treatment. What the verse is saying is somebody who has killed somebody and when it comes for time for them to go to hell in the Old Testament because murder, you went to hell. You didn't pass go, you didn't collect nothing. David, the sure mercies of David, that God loved David, that, that is the only exception to the rule. Joab went to hell because he murdered two men and David said in innocency. That was not in a time of war. Absalom went to hell because he murdered his brother. Got it? Now, as they're on the way to the execution table, whether you hang them, whether you give them a lethal uh, objection, whether you have a firing squad, whatever you do in your state, the King James 1611 Bible authorized by the Holy Spirit said, don't stop them. Don't wait for the governor to call. Execute them. Romans 13. And the Levitical law shows you what if somebody who, who somebody is who was a murderer and who somebody is who was accidental. And even you had your law for that of the accidental killing. America is in violation of verse 17. 
There are people who have been twice, three times, if not four times by court, proclaimed to be guilty of murder, and we are still paying for their food, their air conditioning, their heating, their prison cell, their water, their clothing, and for them to get married to a young bride. And they have a certain name for that kind of visit between a, a husband and a wife, and who pays for that? Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved. Works, not church age. We're in the Old Testament book. Jesus has not died. Jesus has not been buried, and he has not res resurrected from the grave. He hasn't even been born. We are under the law. But he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. Well, Look at that verse number. Who do you think that's talking about? 666. Six, six. six plus 6 plus 6 is 18. When the Antichrist falls, he falls. He falls in the lake of fire. What you just thought was just a simple book. We we just studied the tribulation period in six verse six verses. Look at that. Twelve to eighteen. Eighteen. Six plus six plus six. Twelve to eighteen. That's six verses. Six plus six is twelve. Add six verses. There's six 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 again. We just looked at the mark of the beast twice. I mean, what are you going to do? We're going to stop right there. That's what we're going to do. We're going to stop with the Antichrist. I think that's enough for tonight to, to, to digest.